Have you ever wondered about the origins of everyday objects we often take for granted? Picture this. You wake up, grab your toothbrush, squeeze some toothpaste onto it, and start brushing. You then head to the kitchen, grab a fork, and dig into your breakfast. After a while, you wash your hands with a bar of soap. All these activities, all these objects so mundane, so everyday, yet each with a story of their own. Have you ever stopped to think about where these items originated from? Who was the first person to use a toothbrush or a fork? How did soap come to be? And more importantly, how did these everyday objects evolve to become the items we know and use today? It's intriguing, isn't it? The history of everyday objects is often overlooked, but it's a tale that's as fascinating as it is surprising. It's a story of human ingenuity, creativity, and the constant strive for improvement. Understanding the roots of these objects is important. It not only gives us a deeper appreciation for the things we often take for granted, but it also shows us how far we've come as a society. It's a testament to the human spirit, our ability to adapt, innovate, and evolve. From the simplest of tools to the most complex of inventions, every object has a story to tell. A story of its birth, its evolution, and its impact on our lives. They are not just lifeless items, but silent witnesses to our history, our struggles, our triumphs, and our progress. So, what do you say? Are you ready to uncover the hidden stories behind these everyday objects? To look beyond the mundane and delve into the extraordinary? To appreciate not just the object, but the journey it has taken to reach your hands? If so, then you're in for a treat. We're about to embark on a historical journey, a voyage through time, uncovering the surprising origins of everyday objects. So buckle up and let's delve into the fascinating history of everyday objects. The toothbrush, a simple tool we all use daily, but do you know its history? Its story is a fascinating journey that dates back thousands of years. Far from the plastic and nylon version that we're so familiar with today, the earliest forms of toothbrushes were chew sticks. Yes, you heard that right, chew sticks. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians and Egyptians discovered that a frayed twig could serve as an effective tool for cleaning teeth. They would chew one end of the stick until it became brush-like and use the other end as a toothpick. A simple yet effective way to keep their pearly whites, well, white. But it wasn't until around the year 1049, during the Tang Dynasty in China, that we saw the advent of something more akin to the toothbrushes we know today. The Chinese developed the first bristle toothbrush, using stiff hairs from the back of a hog's neck, fastened to a handle made from bone or bamboo. Not exactly your soft or medium bristle option, but it was a huge leap forward. The design of the toothbrush continued to evolve over the centuries. Bristles transitioned from hog hair to horse hair and eventually to the more sanitary and vegan-friendly synthetic materials. In the late 19th century, mass production of toothbrushes began, making them more accessible to the general public. However, the real game-changer came in 1938 when DuPont, a well-known American chemical company, introduced the world to nylon. This synthetic material was more durable and hygienic than animal hair, making it the perfect replacement for toothbrush bristles. It wasn't long before nylon bristled toothbrushes became the standard, a standard that still holds today. So the next time you brush your teeth, remember the thousands of years of history in your hand. From chew sticks to hog hair to nylon bristles, the humble toothbrush has come a long way. And it's all thanks to the ingenuity and innovation of our ancestors, who were just as concerned with oral hygiene as we are today. Now let's talk about soap, an essential part of our hygiene routine. Our story begins in the cradle of civilization, ancient Babylon, around 2,800 years before Christ. Here, the first known soap-like substance was created. The Babylonians discovered that mixing fats, usually from animals, with wood ash produced a substance that had a peculiar property. It could make oil and fats on dirty surfaces to be easily rinsed away with water. From this humble beginning, soap gradually spread across the globe. The Egyptians, renowned for their attention to cleanliness and appearance, also used a form of soap in their bathing rituals, as did the ancient Romans. However, it wasn't until the Middle Ages, in the bustling cities of Europe, that soap began to resemble the product we're familiar with today. European soap makers began to experiment with adding fragrances to their products, transforming them from merely practical items to luxury goods. Soap was often sold in apothecaries, alongside medicines and spices. It was during this period that the process of saponification was discovered. 
This chemical reaction which involves fat, water and a strong alkali is still the basis for most soap making today. Fast forward to the 19th century and the industrial revolution brought about the mass production of soap. For the first time in history, soap became affordable and accessible to the everyday person. This was a significant turning point, as it meant that hygiene could be dramatically improved, leading to a decrease in disease and an increase in life expectancy. In our current times, soap has evolved far beyond its simple origins. It comes in countless shapes, sizes and fragrances, and we have specialized soaps for different uses, from washing dishes to caring for our pets. We've even broken free of the bar with liquid soaps and foams, so while lathering up consider the millennia-old history of soap, it's a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of our pursuit of cleanliness, and a reminder that even the most mundane objects have a fascinating story to tell. Next on our list is the humble fork, an instrument we can't imagine our meals without. Our story begins in the sun-kissed lands of ancient Greece. The fork, or trident as it was then known, was not used for eating but for cooking. Imagine, if you will, the sizzling aroma of a lamb roast, turned over a roaring fire by a long-handled trident. It was a tool of culinary convenience, not a dining necessity. But as centuries rolled on, so did the fork's evolution. It traveled westward, reaching the opulent Byzantine Empire, where it began to take on a new role. It was in the 11th century that the fork made its grand debut as a dining utensil. A Byzantine princess, marrying a Venetian doge, scandalously introduced the use of a fork at her wedding feast. Guests were shocked at the sight of her using this golden two-pronged utensil to bring food to her mouth. The act was seen as an affront to God, who had, after all, provided humans with natural forks, our fingers. Despite the initial uproar, the fork quietly persisted. It found acceptance in the refined courts of France in the 16th century, primarily as a tool to elegantly consume artichokes and other tricky-to-eat foods. From there, it traveled to England, where it was initially met with mockery. The English nobility scoffed at the idea of using a fork when a perfectly good knife and hand would do. But by the 17th century, they too had succumbed to the fork's practical charm. The humble fork had journeyed from a cooking implement in ancient Greece to a controversial dining utensil in Byzantium, to a symbol of elegance in France, and finally to a dinner table staple in England. Today, it's hard to imagine our meals without this versatile tool. So, the next time you pick up a fork, remember its long journey to your dinner table. We've barely scratched the surface of the fascinating histories of everyday objects. As we've journeyed through time today, we've discovered that even the most common items in our lives have rich surprising origins, often stretching back centuries, if not millennia. Take the humble toothbrush for example. It's a simple tool, yet its roots trace back to ancient civilizations, where people sought innovative ways to maintain oral hygiene. Its evolution from chew sticks to modern toothbrushes is a testament to human ingenuity. Then there's the story of soap, an everyday product that has been a cornerstone of personal hygiene for thousands of years. From ancient Sumerians to modern chemists, the development of soap has been a continuous process of refinement and improvement, leading us to the diverse array of cleansing products we have today. And who could forget the journey of the humble fork, a simple eating utensil that we take for granted. Its story is a fascinating one, filled with societal changes, cultural shifts and even royal influence. From its origins as a two-pronged tool in the ancient world to the four-tined utensil we know today, the fork's evolution is a fascinating study in functional design and cultural adaptation. These stories remind us that even the most ordinary objects have extraordinary histories. They're the result of countless generations of innovation, adaptation and improvement. They're not just objects. They're pieces of our shared human history. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate these everyday items. They may seem mundane or trivial, but they're anything but. Each object is a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and perseverance. They remind us of our ability to innovate and adapt, to refine and improve. They are symbols of our shared human journey. The next time you use a seemingly mundane object, take a moment to appreciate its unique history. Until next time, stay curious.